Yeah, completely. And I didn't even know that I knew the Imperial March. It was like something that came on upon me as I walked with my two death troopers. But what I loved most was that all the extras then started singing it because when you work on something like this that people love so much, every single person, like sometimes you work on a show that has a lot of supporting artists and extras and, and they're not really that interested in being there. But when you work on Star Wars, every single extra is so excited to be on a Star Wars set. So it's like they create this energy around you of the world that you're in and never was it more obvious to me that people took it seriously than when everybody started singing with me. It was great. It was so good. And also because nobody knows, no one's allowed to read the script. So nobody knew, like it was obvious I was this woman in this imperial costume, uh, uniform. And I obviously had power because I had these two death troopers because nobody could see my badges or anything. So I think they were really excited, especially the women were really excited that you had this, you know, a girl walking through, uh, you know, being a bit of a boss. It was really exciting. Oh, I was already there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just in life in general. <laughs> I believe in rewards. I believe in, you know, <laughs> punishment. <laughs> They've got great clothes. They've got great clothes. They've got really good yeah. tailoring. <laughs> You know, yeah. it, it's just, things are nicer. Yeah, uh, and it is, there. I have to say, there is like, <laughs> when you're on set, when I would go and like visit some of the others who are part of the rebellion, and I'd walk in know, in my like, like oh. pristine outfit and think, oh my God, those poor actors, at the end of the day, they have to like clean their nails. And <laughs> yeah. I just waltz out of, you know, off the set and into the car, we were perfectly clean. buffed to within an <laughs> yeah. inch of our lives. We really were. <laughs> yeah. Tailoring, that's what Blow drying them was just, yeah. <laughs> my hair was beautiful. perfect. Yeah. Like, my hair looks like a croissant at the back, <laughs> if you look like a French pastry. It does, it does. That's what Ben Karen used to say. And then when I saw the trailer, I, I texted my hair and makeup artist because I was like, you got your own shot. <laughs> like, she has her hair. And I remember that, like, the way the, it had to be so meticulous and beautiful. And, so yeah, basically the hair and the and the outfits. That's yeah, why we yeah. wanted to join the dark Big side. Time. Super easy. It's wonderful to be back and to be given the opportunity to explore this character. Be back with Diego and Tony Gilroy, who's written this. Uh, it's such an extraordinary cast to be a part of. The, these, I, I get to work with the people who are like the best of the best. You know, you have Tony Gilroy, you have Dan Gilroy and Bo Willimont writing it. And then you have Diego, we have Denise Goff, Fiona Shaw, Kyle Soller, Stellan Skarsgård. I mean, it's amazing. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for seeing that. This is the joy of long form narrative because it allows for time and space to explore character. And this is the first time we see not just the senator, not just the leader, not just this noble and important woman, but we get to see the woman behind the role, who she is, what her life is like, how dangerous is it to be her? How risky is it to be her? How, how, what is the cost to her of being this voice, this voice for democracy within a system and a construct that is a very male dominated autocracy? Like, what is it to be that? That's what was so exciting for me to play. Um, and I think for fans to see the woman behind the role is something new.